you're going to start off by starting a new project in GarageBand, making sure that Tracks is selected at the top of your screen. You're going to be in Audio Recorder, and you're going to click on Voice. Once there, you're going to click on Fun in the center of the screen, and then click on the warning message in the center of the screen telling you to point your iPad towards your source, pressing OK. You are going to then select the golden microphone in the circle in the center, and you're going to then click on the monitor in the bottom right-hand corner. If at all possible, use headphones for this because you're going to run into the possibility of feedback. Once you've done these things, you're going to try out your sound. Ooh, yeah. 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 When finished trying out your sound, turn off the monitor button and then press record. Let's have a listen. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, L, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Once you're satisfied with your recording, you can go back and look at the recording in the tracks view by clicking on the rounded rectangles in the upper left hand corner. From here, you can do some editing and adjusting of your recording if you so choose. And notice the golden microphone over there on the left. To go back to the recorder view, you can click on the microphone again. And just as a point of reference, up in the right hand corner, there's a plus sign for song sections. You can change the section length here. If you want to do anything longer than eight bars, you're going to want to make sure automatic is turned off and then you can manually select how long you want it to be up to 2000 bars or as few as one. If you found this video helpful, then please like and subscribe. If you haven't already, leave a comment below and share it with someone you know. It truly helps out a lot. Thanks and see you next time. Mm.